Torah took close to five hours, but our method was taking close to 10 or 15 hours. Everyone who trained a model has war stories. We asked top researchers to share theirs. I'm Chinmay. Uh, I'm a PhD student at NC State University in the US, and I work on continual learning and parameter efficient fine tuning of large models. Could you recall a moment that didn't go as planned during fine tuning? We initially started with using a hyper network, which does complex nonlinear transformations on the pre trained weights to generate the fine tuning weights. But we found that uh, this process is computationally inefficient, when, especially when we want to do fine-tuning, where uh, your compute efficiency is really the thing you care about. So that is one thing that didn't go as planned, so we switched to a, a linear model. And what were the first signs of anomaly that uh, you know, made you reconsider the process? Our performance was better or on par with LoRa. But what we observed was that uh, our training time was much higher. If we are doing nonlinear transformations, we need to generate the full fine-tuning matrix. Was there any observability tooling that helped you surface the issue? I don't think we used any, uh, any of the tools. Uh, we just tracked the training time using the WANB logger. How much compute or whole clock time did it burn until you caught the issue? Let's say for one run, LoRa took close to five hours, but our method was taking close to 10 or 15 hours. The final fix for you looked like? We just switched from non-linear updates to completely linear updates. Once we do linear updates, we can just change around the equations and we don't have to actually maintain the full fine tuning matrix in our memory. We can decompose them into multiple low rank transformations. And is there a particular metric or a set of metrics that you're now especially keeping an eye on you know, to maintain the stability? The first and foremost metric is just the performance on your downstream task. It could be the accuracy, or in case of code generation, it could be the pass one metric. We want to maintain low GPU memory. So that's another metric which we would like to track, which is GPU memory. And of course, the training runtime.